Alright, hey guys, it's Helping with Tech here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own icon uh, for your YouTube channel. So it's going to be a pretty nice little logo for you. So you're going to open up GIMP, so obviously you're going to need GIMP. Go ahead, Google search GIMP, and just download it. It's free, it's like Photoshop, but I actually like it more. So file new, and you're going to want to make it, I don't know, about 200 by 200 somewhere around there and I like zooming in just makes it a little bit easier to work with and now that I've zoomed in a bit what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna select what you want so personally I would like to make it uh, round so I'm gonna right click new layer over here just so and I'm gonna make the background white and I'm gonna make my new layer right now so I'm gonna put the circle in and the circle. Now I'm going to want to pick two colors. So the first color that I'm going to pick is going to be a dark blue and the second color is going to be a light blue. So now that I have both those chosen I'm going to color in the circle using gradient. So just click gradient you're going to want to ha have it on normal and just drag it from the bottom to the top. Unless you pick the light color first then you're going to want to go top to bottom. So you want the light, lighter part to be on the top and the darker to be on the bottom. But I want it a little bit look a little bit better than that, so I'm going to drag it a little bit past. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So now that I have that done, I'm going to put in some, uh, what should we call this? I'm going to call it uh, lighting or reflection. That's what, that's what it's going to be. So you're going to want to make click white, okay? And you're going to click gradient again. But this time you're going to change it to FG transparent. All right. So now you're going to click the top and drag it down however far you want, and that trust me will look good. And now you're, I like making the bum a little bit darker. So I go down to the bottom, just make a little tiny oval, and I'm going to pick a dark color, like a dark blue, but I'm going to want to make it even darker. So right around there and I go to the gradient and I pull it up and there we go so now we got a nice shade and nice brightness so now that we've got those things done we're st we still gonna wanna do one more thing so pick a light color maybe a really light blue if you guys are doing it with blue but you guys can make a dark red at the bottom and a light red at the top whatever color you guys want you guys can do so just pick a really light color that resembles your uh, color of your little circle or icon and now you're going to want to click gradient again and this time instead of linear you're going to want to click uh, oh sorry instead of normal you're going to want to click radial wherever radial is so radial there it is right the first time and once you have radial clicked you're going to go right to the center and there's the center right there and you're gonna just drag it up a little bit just like oh just like that but you're gonna want to unselect the circle so there we go and uh, yeah that looks not bad let's see it zoomed in a little bit less yeah that'll look pretty good so now that you have every everything done pretty much all you need to do is change the wording so the wording you can choose what color you want I usually just do white and then you can change the opacity of it but uh, here we go so first things first I'm gonna put helping and so helping and definitely want to make that size big but not too big that looks pretty good and I'm gonna want to change the font as well so I want it sans bold in italic so there is my first little lettering and then you're gonna want to do your next one so I'm gonna put tech And then last but not least, you're going to put your third one in, or you don't have to have three uh, 
words. It's up to you guys. But I, I am having three because my YouTube name is helping with tech. You guys might just be one word, two words, four words, I don't know. But here it is. This is just a really quick tutorial, guys. But to make it look a little bit more professional, you can change the opacity down like that. So just make everything look a little bit better. There we go. And when you zoom back out to 100, you know, it looks a lot better. Looks 50. It does look still pretty it looks pretty good still. And another thing that you can do is you can sort of color around the edges where the white is if you don't want the background that color or like I said, you can change the background color. So it's a really easy tutorial. Hope you guys like this. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.